Mm. We'll have a look inside. Uh, With Andrew Post in a minute or two. But uh, first of all, how do England overcome a fear of history repeating itself? Well, James Beale is a sports psychologist at the University of East Lung London. That is the big thing. I mean, many of us who can remember 1990 will just think, please don't let that happen again. How did the team overcome that fear? The fear of playing Germany? Yes. Well, I think what we need to do is go back to why they started playing football in the first place. And I think when they were little boys, they would have said, I want to play in the big games. I want to play the Germanys in the World Cup. I want to play Argentina. And so this is what they're up for. This is, this is why they play the game. And I think what we need to do is go back to that focus and say, this is an opportunity yeah. and, and view it in that way. So if you were there in the dressing room with them today, they're just about to go onto the pitch. Yeah. What would you say to psych them up, to get them to go out and to get them to win? I'll be asking them those questions. I'll be saying, why did you start playing the game? What did you dream about when you were a young player? What, what would you want to look back at in your career and say, I did this? And we beaten Germany in a World Cup finals is a huge, would be a huge achievement. And I guess that every player would love to be able to say that they did that. And that's interesting that you say that because J Jermaine Defoe, when he, after he'd scored that goal, that's mm -hmm. what he said. He said, this is what I've dreamt of since I was a little yeah. boy, didn't he? Yeah. And that's great. I mean, what we don't want is we don't want the pressure being seen as a negative thing. We want that pressure to be excitement, to be what they've, what they've built up throughout their career, what they've, what they've um, desired to do since they've been you know, very, very young. We heard a, a lot of that, you know, Fabio Capello was saying after those two very uh, poor first games that he felt that they were sort of overwhelmed by being in the World Cup. Uh, this is an even more overwhelming fixture potentially than the others, isn't it? How, how do they stop the pressure just, just being too great? I suppose if you look at it, it's, it's up to them how they, they view the pressure. They can view it in that way, they can view it as debilitative to their performance, they can view it as something which is going to... Um, make them underperform, that's going to not enable them to play how they would like to, or they can view it as excitement. They can turn it around and they can look at it as an opportunity. There's a big thing in psychology at the moment yeah. of positive psychology. So only really focusing on the positives. Um, it's, a, it's big in America and it's, it's really starting to, to come into this OK, country. so let's, let's talk about that dreadful, that dreadful thing we, we, we don't want to happen, um, penalties. Yep. What do we watch out for? What should they be watching out for? <laughs> and we're just going to show people a few classic ones here. OK, well, I suppose what, I mean, research tells us yeah. that there is a oh. way to take a penalty and you... <laughs> Sorry, I can't help myself. <laughs> Where, what you want to look for is the player. Yeah. Um, the, the, the player that's um, striking the ball. Yes, yeah. You want to keep him to maintain eye contact with the goalkeeper. You don't want him to take too big a run-up and you don't want him to rush the run-up. They're, the, they're the things that I think will be the predictors as to whether or not we score the penalties. So, as a player, you have to think... Right, that's it. You know, you just got to be very intensely calm about it and really focus on the goalkeeper. Yeah. It's all a bit late focus now, on the isn't goalkeeper, it? Maintain eye contact. Go back in your how you'd normally do things. Follow your pre-performance routines. Hmm. Thank you it's very much. It's that simple. <laughs> and then you win. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, eh? <laughs> yeah, Joe, thank not. you very much indeed. <laughs>